Piece of meat, boy. Go, go, go. Alright, well, I'm here with Rhett, and the groups have been up for a little bit now, as you can see right over there. And so we're going to talk about uh, what your predictions are for these groups. And uh, so anyways, let's get started. Group A, we have first off Noni vs. Hydra, who's going to win that? Hydra. Hydra? Hydra. Wow, hard call. All right, then we're going to have Noni against the winner of Kenzie Horror and someone named Nemu, mm -hmm. whoever the hell that is. Um, who's going to win that group? Well, um, at first glance, you would say Noni, mm -hmm. but I have seen some posts by Bulgarian users talking about Nemu's skill. And apparently, he's capable of beating every single foreigner Protoss. Is that right? His ZVT is capable of taking games of Hydra. It is. Well, anyone and, um, says. his ZVZ is godlike, apparently. Is that right? So even if Hydra did lose to Noni, I think we can't, can't, can't count out Nemu. Because, you know, these Bulgarian posters, they, they don't fuck around. They don't lie about shit. So, um, I think it's going to be between Nemu and, um, you know, Horror. If he can find a good place to proxy a factory... <laughs> He may win a game here. I'm not sure, but he could advance to to, to face Kenzie. It's it's really a hard group to predict. There's so many factors here. I mean, I'm gonna have to say Noni. All right, we'll take Noni with Nemu as, as runner-up, unless there's a good proxy place for a factory. Yeah, well, Ken Kenzie's decent too. All right, <laughs> Group B, we have Maro awaiting the winner of Oxerg, Cole, and Nagrim. What do you think about this group? Well, this group is actually a really tough one. I mean, the the, the Q1 could actually be a round of 16 matchup in my opinion. Mm. Because both these Zergs are, are really strong. Especially against Terran. Maybe not so much against Protoss. Um, the, uh, I think Cole and Nagrim is really a toss-up. Uh, and then they will have to, to, uh, to face the beast known as October Zerg. And um, that, that's just completely unpre uh, unpredictable. But I do know if Nagrim or Cole make it tomorrow, they will beat Moro. If October Zerg makes it tomorrow, Moro is going to advance. I see. But uh, I will put my money on Nagrim for this group. Ah. Alright. We go on to group C. Mana awaits the winners of KR, Castro, and Shad. I like to call this the lag group. What do you think about this group? Um, lag group is a good way to describe it. You know, if you were in that group, you wouldn't make it out, right? If I was in that group, I would be in trouble. Because I couldn't make a mutalisk. Hmm. Um, so what do you think about this group? I don't really know much about Castro ZVZ, but just looking at the names, I think Castro should make it. Yeah. I mean, Mana's getting better lately, but I don't think he's ready to uh, to beat Castro in a best of five, or maybe. But I think Castro should take it. Castro taking that group down. Yeah. No KR upsets this time. I don't see KR uh, beating anyone in that group except for Shad. All right. Well, Group D. Kind of a cute little group there. We have Strelok awaiting good old TT1, uh -huh. Love, and Databy. Datobi. Databy. But, uh, what do you think about that group? Um, Avilov and Datobi is pretty much a toss up. Um, TT1 against either of those guys is a toss up. <laughs> um,. Strelok is better than all those guys, yeah. but not that much better that he's like a guaranteed win. Mm. So, but I, I think Strelok should make it with some trouble. 3-1 or 3-2 against whoever of those three makes it. Sounds about right. Okay, Group E. White Raw awaits the winners of Killer, Drone, and Closer. 
Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but Killer's actually a really good player. Is that right? Is that right? That because right. he's on my list of who the hell is this guy? No, he's uh, he's he's got quite some skill. And uh, is it? I see him moving up to White Raw and uh, giving White Raw a really hard time. Wow. But White Raw should win it though. So, but Killer has a chance. All right. Group F. Now you may be a little bit biased here. But you're going to be playing probably Flaff. Hmm. But uh, G5 and Cloud are down there too. But what do you think about this group and Flaff's chances to take it off of you? Well, G5 and Cloud are both really strong protoses. Uh, especially Cloud when he's active. Yeah. One of the best protoses. But I, I can't complain because, you know, I'm, I'm playing probably and most likely a protos player. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I could have had it a lot worse if I were to face someone like Cole or, you know, yeah. a strong Zerg. Well, what about Flaff? Are you counting him out? Well, in this case, as well as Nemo's case, there are people from Romania who have said good things about him. One of them was October Zerg. Oh, yeah? Who actually predicted that Flaff would take the group. Um, so we can't count him out, but um, I don't see myself losing to a guy called Flav. <laughs> I could lose to Cloud or G5. I see. But, you know, if I'm if I'm playing well, then I, I have a good chance to win the group. Alright. Group G. We have Phoenix, and this is a really good group. Phoenix, he's awaiting the winners of Casper. How did he get up there? And Nyokin and Dreven. Yeah, this group is actually really underrated. If you look at the, the poll on Team Liquid. <clears throat> that poll is horrible, by the way. It's missing Group L. We'll laugh yeah, about that in a little bit. Yeah, Group L is so hard, man. But anyways, oh back to back to Group G. But also, this group is, isn't really getting a lot of uh, credit. Yeah. But it's a really tough group. Uh, it is Nyokin that. got kind of unlucky with getting Dreven. Yeah. In the first round, because Nyokin's uh, Dreven's weak a good style against him. It's TVP. Yeah. And you know, Dreven's just really solid macro Protoss player who doesn't really make too many mistakes. So. And that is what he's weak to. Nyokin's gonna have to play really, really well. To, uh, to make it past Dreven. And then I think Casper won't play a role. And then Phoenix is another good, really, really good PVT player. So um, it's going to be really hard for Nyoka. I do hope he makes it because he's very good and he's he is. he's underachieved in corner tournaments. Completely. Compared to how good he is. But um, 